Okay, so let me just go in. So you have a traffic, you have a conversions. You're probably using only one image, huh? No, I, I ended up, I did like you said, and I uh, made a video. So oh, it'll be, nice. I haven't really looked at that data yet. So I have one go, one with the video of me, hey, your grad, and then the other one of the, just that picture. Really cool. Okay, cool. Oh, so, yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, share that screen. Share screen. Okay. Uh, I have such a hard time finding which one. This one, I think. Okay. Can you see okay. the ads manager? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. So here, mm -hmm. so here it is where they're both. See, and in, in then conversions, still there's no data showing up. Isn't that interesting? <clears throat> Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it only it's only been a few days, right? Like, yeah. so yeah, don't even don't even worry about that. Like, don't even worry about that. Like, you have to let it run. And see, if you would have asked her how long, which I don't know if you did, but you should have if you did it, ask her how long does she recommend before you turn it off? She mm. would have recommended anywhere from she would have recommended anywhere from 10 to 14 days. Uh huh. So a lot of people that I follow say, you know, just three to four days, but then yeah. Facebook, multiple people over there tell me you want to run it for, for longer oh, before you ever even look at the data. Mm. So that's why if you're micromanaging this, man, you're going to drive yourself crazy. I know. Like if you're trying to look at every single freaking number, like I wouldn't look at that at all, like at all for a few days. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm good. Like I, 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 I'm glad I looked when I did, cause I did want to see the, um, the restaurant and to see that there were three leads. I'm like, all right, that's, I'm good now for, you know, I won't check it. Although right now I'm going to check it only because you're on here with me. What, what are you doing for the restaurant? What's your offer? Um, it's buy one, get one free. Yes. Yeah, awesome. so we've got three. Awesome. Yeah. It's a, um, Indian vegetarian, yeah, vegetarian restaurant. Um, so they're doing buy one, get one free on this thing called biryani. Gotcha. Okay. And then I've also got one set up for their other restaurant that is not vegetarian for this, like in Southern, I learned this whole Indian lesson the other day in Southern India, there's a particular type of food of Indian food that the people from there like. So they have a new chef that makes that kind of food. So we're going to do that starting June 1st and they get a free dessert with that one. Really cool. <clears throat> really cool. It's not a very high price point of the, the dinner itself. So, yeah. So here's the grad thing. Um, oh, you know what I did turn off? See, I had grad promo video. I ended up turning that off. Go to, um, go to life. To, you know, the last seven days, just pull up, just hit that drop down the top, right? Last seven days, May 22nd up just go to lifetime. I always look at it on lifetime because <clears throat> it, it'll show you your budget. It'll show you how much has been spent. Um, click on it, go to lifetime. Oh, why did I not see that? Okay. Yeah. See, so four four seventy seven out of 35 bucks. See, so that's traffic. Yeah. See traffic. I mean, Traffic is not what I'd be doing <clears throat> at all. You're going to, you're going to blow, you're going to blow that 35 bucks on, on just a bunch of clicks. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why it, the, 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 re the only reason why you would do that. So the most important reason, and really the only reason is so that pixel can track who's landing because no one's opting in. So the pixel is tracking who's landing on the, on the page. So therefore you can retarget those who land on that page. So if you're creating a custom audience on that landing page, then you retarget that custom audience with ad number two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the traffic is going to give you that data to retarget, but the traffic is not going to give you leads. And why do you like explain that to me? Cause uh, it is the same where it's, um, let me just set this to turn off. It's set for the same landing page, the same thank you page. Yeah. But, but there's a difference. There's a difference. Tracking, like click on, the, click on the green button to the left, go into uh, create. Just read it. Like read, read the little question oh, mark. Uh -huh. Like traffic, go to, um, switch to, um, switch to guided creation, the top right, switch to guided creation. 
Yeah, I always do it from this part, but click on, like, if you just hover over that, it says it right there. Send more people to a destination such as a website and then hover over, over conversions. Conversion says drive a valuable action on your website. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Yeah. We're looking to drive a valuable action. A valuable action is a, is a, is a conversion, is, a, is an opt-in. If I wanted them just to view my menu and just go to my page, okay, cool, traffic. But if I'm looking to drive a valuable action, which is a lead, I need conversions. Yeah. Either, or okay. either way, your pixel doesn't have data anyways. So what does it even matter? Like, why would I go traffic? I might as well just go conversions and get people to click learn more so that pixel can, can read the data as well. But at least, at least put me in position to convert because I'm telling Facebook I need conversions. <clears throat> you know, so... But okay. again, Facebook, I'm not trying to say that I know more than them. I mean, those people freaking study this stuff, right? Like I don't, I'm not that hardcore smart at all at this, but I'm just saying from based on who I, where I learned from, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which are seven, eight figure marketers, they just do conversions. Mm -hmm. Like I, I literally just went through a $5,000 course conversions. Yeah. It's the only ad he runs. He doesn't run anything else. He just runs conversions. And this is a dude that has an eight figure business, 10 million plus a year yeah. <clears throat> selling, selling digital courses, but same concept, landing page, thank you page, drive a lead, same shit, same everything conversions. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's all about conversions. It's all about creating custom audiences. It's all about retargeting those custom audiences. Um, and then, and then once your custom audiences have some data, once you've been capturing leads and people have been landing on your thank you page, your custom conversion is, is converting, then you create lookalike audiences. And then after that, that won't be for a while, maybe three, four months down the line. But once you get to that point, then it's all conversions. And now when you go and set up the next targeting, you're only targeting your lookalike audiences. Got it. That's a ninja hack that most don't even know. Right now, you're you're putting in a target. You're putting in a, a, a gender, an age. You're putting in a, a detailed targeting. You're targeting a specific location. You're putting in all that stuff. After those custom audiences build, you then create a lookalike audience, and you and then you only target the lookalike audiences. So that's kind of the whole strategy on on lead capture. Got it. So. Yep. But okay. at the same time, you, you, you definitely have to be running multiple ads. Like I, yeah. I like, I literally learn from people. I mean, again, you're going to start small, you start small, but, but it, it blew my mind when one of these guys that I was following, and this wasn't too long ago, this wasn't too long ago at all. He would literally, and this, obviously you got to have a budget. I mean, not everyone's going to start here at all, but just the fact where he was at, I was like, holy shit, that's like a different level. He'll run freaking 100 ads all at one time to see which one works. Yeah. Where we're over here looking at freaking one ad and micromanaging it. Yeah. Right. Like once I saw, once I heard that, I'm like, holy shit, how small am I really thinking? Like if I'm thinking we're one ad and I'm going to try to look at this damn thing all damn day to see if it's converting. It's like, holy shit. When other people are running 100 at one time. Yeah. It's like day and, and it, that's not even a huge, well, I mean, yeah, if you're running it at five bucks, that's 500 a day, but even at 500 a day, that's still not a lot of money. Like that's still not, but, but at the same time, people, that's where people are playing. Mm -hmm. We're playing over five bucks a day. People are playing 500 a day. I know people that are playing a thousand a day. Yeah. You know, so that's why I'm saying like when, when you put out one ad, it's like, dude, it's, there's no way, like there's yeah. no way. Yeah. So right here, perfect, perfect. You're, these are, these are all, are these all different ads or are these duplicates? These are, are these, these are, all, these are different ads, you know, same campaign. So you just Maybe. duplicated. Yep. I just made different. Um, awesome. Sure. It's just different. Awesome. Awesome. Really cool. That's all you do is just change the image and then see which one pops. Yeah. So, and I'm already seeing nine, four, one. You what? I'm already seeing, you know, nine, four and one. Yes. Yes. And, 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 and is that is, yeah. See conversion. See, look, that's my point. Well, that, I know. And to your point, like this got three, um, we got three leads from this conversions and the one lead we got from the florist thing, that was a conversion ad originally. Yeah. And then now I've got the traffic. And so now it, we won't be able to tell, well, I guess you would in the data if it came from the traffic or from the conversion. No, you can for sure. If you just look at the, look at the ad, yeah. okay. look at the, look at the ad, go to campaigns and look at which, 
the traffic, first of all, should have, have a result as well. It should have that one, if it came from that, um, that traffic. No, it came from conversions. Uh, at least yeah. That, yeah. See, that's, but this one doesn't show any data yet. So, but I know it came from conversions because it came in before traffic was even started. I, I mean, I'm telling you, man, I mean, you can do what you, what you, what you want to do, but I would, I would tr clearly conversions were clearly leads come in from it. So I would turn that traffic out at off if I were you. I mean, that's 35 bucks that I would rather put towards the conversions at. Because again, yeah. you're, you're the whole purpose of traffic is for you to get data. That's why she recommended you run it. So that pixel can start knowing your data, but you're doing the same thing with conversions. So why traffic, you know? But, yeah. but let it, I mean, I guess let it run for a couple of days, but you're, again, just make sure you have a custom audience set up. That's, that's the most important custom audience around that landing page. Yep, because that's the, that. Okay. And so, I did it with the restaurant too. I set those up. Perfect. Perfect. So, so just plan on using that traffic ad for retargeting, retargeting the audience who hit it because using the traffic for retargeting. Okay. Got it. Got yeah. It. Yeah, okay. for retargeting conversion, uh, conversion ad retargeting that audience of, of who landed on the page from the traffic yeah. ad. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. I can do that. Um, all right, awesome. Okay, so I have another one. Um, she, she'll, she'll spend more money. Um, I told her, I said, make a video about, so she's a florist as well. She's in Idaho, mm -hmm. Iowa. Um, I said, make a video about you, who you are, why you do what you do. She's like, okay, great. So I said, first we'll do a video views, a couple dollars a day, and mm -hmm. then we'll retarget. So do we, should I go right from um, video to conversion? Yeah. I mean, after the video view ad, like for example, yeah. you run it for, I mean, I would, I would, I would break it. And it all depends on how fast that person wants it. Like how fast, obviously everybody wants it fast. Like if you asked any business owner, Hey, how soon do you want me to bring, bring you customers? I mean, yeah. shit, they'll tell you yesterday. Right. right. But if, but if a business owner has a little bit more patience, she does. Then, Cause okay, she's so then, not like, Oh my God, we got to Like, I can tell she, she's been in this business for a while. So she gets it. Perfect. So then just break it down per month and say, okay, here's our strategy. We're going to run a new ad every single seven days. Every week, your market's going to see a new ad from you. That's four ads a month, one per week. The very first week, the first seven days is video views. I okay. want you to introduce yourself and I want to get thousands of people in your local area to see this video. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to retarget all those people and that becomes our audience. So ad number two is going to be conversions, retargeting all those video views. Okay. With another video? Yeah, it can be. Yeah, for sure. It could be another video for sure. And then always make sure you're holding the phone if, if, if they are doing it on the cell phone, which it should be. I mean, but she's actually got a, a photographer friend, so she's going to like shoot it for her. Okay. That just, um, that, that's, I, mean, I know you like to like handheld type better, but well, it's just, it's just now, now, now we have extra expenses. Now we, now it's going to take extra long, longer because now we're on other people's time and now it's going to look way too commercial. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to tell someone, I would tell someone like that, but like, dude, that's great for TV. Like if you're running a commercial, okay, perfect. Hire a camera crew, get all that stuff done professionally. But this is social media and people engage with video content from their cell phone. That's why YouTube is so huge because raw video. Um, and the reason why I'm also recommending that Mr. Business Owner is because on your cell phone, it allows you to pump out a video every single week with no problem. In fact, I believe you can pump one out every single day because of the simplicity of a cell phone. Yeah. But if, if you're thinking hiring a camera, camera crew, that's just budget. I don't advise you to spend because you don't need to. And at the same time, I'm willing to bet you won't pump one out every month, every week. You won't, mm -hmm. you won't make one every week because again, you won't probably be able to afford it every week. Yeah. So if that camera guy's costing you a hundred bucks, which he's probably charging you more, because mm -hmm. the editing, the filming, the time, you're not going to do it every week. And even if you do have the budget to do it every week, I'd rather have you spend it on Facebook ads. So rather than spending 10 bucks a day, which is your t rather than spending $2 a day on a freaking video view, we need to be spending 20 bucks a day if you have the budget. Mm -hmm. So right. I'll let her, I mean, she, I, it's a friend. I don't think they're charging her by the way she acted. So and mm -hmm. I'll just tell her, you know, but we, we're going to be doing more. So you want to just do them on your phone. And yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. And yeah. And, um, yeah. And some, some business owners are going to, you know, agree with you. Some will want to do it their way. And it just depends on how much patience you have to just let them do it their way. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so then what do you think week three video week three should be about? Just another same thing, conversions again? All all conversions, all conversions, all yeah. conversions. And, and and just retargeting, retargeting, retargeting any videos. Um, because because it's a video, we're running conversions, there's still a custom audience that is being built. So all I'm doing is retargeting, retargeting, conversions, 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 but but really putting one out every week as if it was your religion. That's where you're gonna see people miss the ball, is they're yeah. inconsistent. It's, it, it's going to happen. I'm telling you, most people won't pull it out every week. Yeah. And, and then at the end of the month, they'll blame it on you. And it's like, dude, you're the one that didn't put out the content. I'm here to freaking pull the trigger. Yeah. But I had to wait on your ass and you were the one that procrastinated and you're waiting for your video guy and shit. He hasn't got back the edited version. It's like, dude, that's why it's like, sometimes it's hard. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard. And that's why, um, um, everything should be around one promotion. Like these businesses have all these different services that they provide so many different occasions, like all these random things, your entire, like with the restaurant, you want to promote all these different random mills and promotions and shit. You guys should stick to one. Like you should stick to one coupon, 25% off your next meal download. Now super stupid, simple and understand how much, how many, how many leads you would capture? Like if you just said, you know what, forget about pointing out a specific mill. I'm going to have my guy on Fiverr and you don't got to tell him Fiverr, but you could, you could say, Hey man, I'm going to have my design team put together a cool looking coupon and we're going to give away 10, we're going to give away 25% off on your first mill must redeem before June 10th download now. And, and, and that right there becomes my entire monthly campaign. That's all you run for the person. Do you understand how much business that business would get? Like, yeah. do you understand? Like a dentist giving away a simple free teeth cleaning. Mm-hmm. Download, click here to download your free teeth clean, cleaning coupon. But everybody wants to run all these random promotions, which makes it hard for you. Okay, what should be my next one? It's like, dude, like, that's too much already think. I'm already thinking too much. Like, my job is just to do one thing and that's to make your phone ring or to bring people through this door. That's yeah. it. Now I understand you have all these different promotions and that's cool, but, but, but a coupon, a simple download will get you more business than you could possibly imagine. Yeah. And, 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 and you, and you just put the proof to the test. You say, okay, let, let me do this for 30 days and then we'll, we'll shift and we'll pivot to any other offer you want to put out. But right now, I'm telling you, Mr. Business Owner, I've been doing this. This is what I want to do. Just a free coupon. Let's just download a free coupon. Yeah. You know, and, and, um, and shit, what else was I going to say? I just, I just had a, a, a thought slip my mind. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing that's super, super simple and super powerful for a restaurant, stupid simple, is targeting birthdays. So a coupon for anybody's birthday in the month of June. Happy birthday, everyone. Click here to download your 50% off on your first birthday meal. Mm -hmm. Download now. And every single month you're targeting birthdays. Yeah. So simple, man. So simple and so freaking powerful. Mm -hmm. And, 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 And everything evolves around that one coupon. Once, once a person downloads a coupon, and they come into your door because they have to redeem it by June 5th. So now we create urgency. Then you can show them the entire freaking menu and you better believe it. They, and they know it as well. Any random store, Walmart, the grocery store, they all strategically build their businesses like this, where they dangle a carrot in front of our face. And the moment we walk into a store, any store, we end up coming out with 50 more items. Yeah. Happens with me at the grocery store. Happens with me at Walmart. Happens with me at Costco. I go to Costco for toilet paper. I'm coming out with toothpaste, toothbrushes, clothes. I just bought some brand new freaking trail mix. Like I'm yeah. coming out with all kinds of random shit when I only went in there for freaking toothpaste. Mm-hmm. Same thing when, when I download your coupon. I'm going to download your coupon because you were dangling it in my face and it was a, a click learn more for 25% off my next meal. 
when I download that and I come in before June 5th because there, there's an expiration date, do you understand I'm going to order more shit? Yeah. Like, like, and so, and so a coupon, who doesn't like a free coupon? Yeah. But the moment you put some, some certain type of product, then you're now, you're, you're now, you're now only going after a certain, aud- so now you have a local audience. My audience is already small enough, but now you're trying to put a specific type of mill and that's our bait where not everybody likes that mill. So now you're, now you're cutting out more of the market. And now you're left with only people who are going to like that one mil. Yeah. Whereas if I would have just promoted a 25% off anything, your next mil, every, it would have been appealing to everybody. And then when everybody came in, then they could pick and choose what the hell they want. That's why a dentist, free tea cleaning. Once you come through my door and schedule that appointment and, schedule, and, and come through my door, holy shit, that dentist is going to upsell you on 15 more appointments. So, so my job as a marketer and a Facebook advertiser for you is just to get people in the door. Whatever you want to sell them after that, that's on you. So simple cell phone and social media, Mr. Business Owner, and a simple free download that will entice the hell out of anybody. That's how we're going to get more traffic through this door than you could possibly handle. Mm-hmm. And, and again, this is a 30-day run. So I'm not asking for a contract. I'm not asking for you to sign anything. Let me do what I do for 30 days. And after that, we'll reconsider e- either keeping me aboard um, or, or, or possibly, you know, n- pardon ways. Yeah. You know, but, but if you can keep it that simple, you, you would crush it. Conversion ads to a download free coupon. Yeah. All right. Well, let me, add, so, so with this, um, this other client, so we're going to do week one video views, mm-hmm. second week conversions, targeting the people that watch the video third week. Are we targeting the people that watched week one yep. and week two? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Two and and keeping or... the targeting audience as well and keeping the actual detail targeting. Okay. Okay. So, so you're still targeting Boston, for example, and you're retargeting video views. Number one, video views. Number two. Okay. And you can put that's in one uh, campaign, right? You can target multiple audiences. You, you can, you can, but I would, I would split test. Okay. So I would, I would split test that for sure. The ad sets. So, so duplicate the ad sets okay. and, 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 and maybe, and maybe, maybe retarget the video views. And then the second ad set retarget just the detail targeting. So now I'm just targeting Boston. So you can, so it, it, it's all about that duplicating the ad sets, duplicating the ad sets and duplicating the ad, the image. That's yeah. what it's all about. That's what it's all about. So, that's why sometimes you'll put in certain custom audiences to retarget all in one. Sometimes you'll separate them, but your, your job, you're a mad scientist. Your job is to come in here and just play around with it, play around with it without wasting money. Like, but, but at the same time, it's, it's all about testing and that's what your job is to do. It's a test. So look yeah. at your, look at your job as a, as a tester, um, not as a person who knows exactly which ad is going to pop. And that's yeah. why I'm so against hiring a camera guy and, and editing and going around and going that whole route because it's like, dude, you're going to spend so much money on this one freaking ad and that might not even be the one. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's like, no, I hear you. Yeah. So, so I've had clients like that, man, where they're the, per, they're perfectionist. And I'm like, dude, like you are not the one for me. Mm-hmm. Number one, I'm waiting around forever for your video. Number two, you or hold it against me if that one video doesn't pop for you. Yeah, that's a perfect point because you don't know what's going to work. And what worked for someone in Idaho is not going to work for someone in New York City is not going to mm-hmm. work for and it may not even work for the guy down yeah. the street, you know. Right. And, yeah. But 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 on the bright side, it's so freaking more powerful and it's so more cost effective than anything else you can possibly do. Because even at traffic conversions, video image, whatever the hell you're doing. That type of, of branding, that type of, of, of branding, that post, that image, that video is being seen to people in your local area. So although maybe not everyone's clicking, not everyone's opting in, they're seeing your freaking brand. Yeah. It's like, dude, 
that right there is powerful. That branding effect is powerful. That's exactly why pe businesses will spend 15 grand to go put their freaking name on a billboard when that shit ain't doing nothing for them. But they understand the branding. The fact that I drive down the street and I see your freaking face on this big ass billboard. Yeah, I might not be picking up the phone and calling you, but the fact that I see your damn head every time I come down the street, it's putting something in my brain as a consumer and that's powerful. Mm -hmm. So if I had your ad going through the newsfeed to people in your local area, yeah, that branding effect, don't just because we didn't get a lead right now, don't think that that neighbor doesn't know who you are now because they do. They keep seeing you in their freaking newsfeed. Yeah. As long as we can keep going, keep going without stopping and without worrying about every little freaking number because we're just getting started. We got to just get, get the ball rolling, man. Yeah, I, I, I totally get it. So that I don't, that somebody else has a video where they um, were running ads for a guy for a gym and they happen to be at the driving range, just filming the gym guy, you know, to check his swing and stuff. And so they're videoing and this guy like comes over, he's like, Hey, you're the guy from the gym ad, right? You know, Dude. so perfect example. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, man. Cause they like, just kept running ads, running yes. ads. And he's like, I don't go to the gym. He's like, but if I did, I'd go to yours. Cause right? I keep seeing your ad. Dude, yeah, a person funny. that never clicked, but kept seeing the person in their news. Yeah. I swear, man, it happens with my clients. Like I have clients that say, David, I went to the grocery store and people recognized me and called me out because they said they saw me in their newsfeed. Yeah. And, and, and I'm like, dude, that was only a couple videos. Can you imagine if you freaking had like 20 of them? Like that whole town would know who the hell you are. And this other, this other client, like she'll, she'd be the one, cause this is her business. This is, so she like, she could be that one that is like, let's just go full out. And yeah. Yeah. That'd yeah. That'd be awesome keep it going, man. And you're, and you're going to have to go through a handful of people to really find the one that you want to marry, you know, no. because you're going to have a bunch of clients that are freaking idiots and, and think they know what they're doing. And it's like, dude, no, like if you know, how, if you, if you know how to do it all, you do it yourself then dude. Yeah. You don't need me. Right. You know what I mean? You don't need me if you want to tell me how to, how to, what to do, you For know, sure. but, but I'm telling you, you have two, you have two simple businesses, man. Like rather than promoting a bunch of different bouquets or whatever, a coupon, 25% off or 15% off or 10, you got to make it sexy. 10% doesn't wet my horn. Like you got to give me like, and, and again, it's all, it's only on the first purchase, but at the same time, as businesses know, the moment they come in through the door, they end up buying other shit. Yeah. So even if we do give away 25%, which to a business owner, they think that's probably a lot. They'll be like, holy shit, D, are you freaking kidding me? I can't give up 25%. No, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. I guess you can mm -hmm. 25% off your next order must redeem by the fifth. Yeah. That right there, man, is so simple and so powerful. And the same thing with the restaurant and then also targeting people's birthdays. Yeah. You know, free drink. You got there. There has to be a giveaway, man. There has to be a giveaway. That's marketing. That's promotion. Give me something of value. Like, so that, so speaking of that, so maybe at the same time with the restaurant, we could be running now free, you know, I don't think they have alcohol at this place, but like they have these like uh, mango smoothie things that are Indian. Maybe we could do that free drink. Birthday month yeah. For June. Now, and, and I'm telling you, you, <clears throat> I would get whatever information they have on that. And then boom, send it to somebody on Fiverr, 10 bucks, have them design you a sick ass coupon. And that becomes yeah. your PDF. That becomes your download. So what, so what I did with the restaurant, I'll just show you in Kartra. I did, I did a very simple, um, I mean, I think they look nice. And I was like, you know what? It's just for a, a, a value of $10. Like I didn't feel like I had to get all that fancy. Mm -hmm. um, so this is what I engage. Dude, that's so freaking perfect. So basic and so freaking it's perfect. It's fine, right? Yeah, dude, you can crush it with that. Yeah, I you mean, I, I liked it. I liked it. Free. See, and, and that, and see, I love everything, but but you're just, you're you're too specific with it. That That's what they wanted, this vegetable biryani. But I, I hear your point for sure. 
like I'm, I look at that and be like, okay, well, shit. What if I don't want a vegetable, bur- vegetable biryani? So yeah. instantly you lost half of the market. Yeah, I, I hear you. And then let me, I'll show you the, um, the thank you page, or the, yeah, this is the thank you page. Oh, I can just view it, right? Yeah, you can click on that. Perfect, perfect. And they can click right on that and hit, you know go to their phone. That's really cool. So what do you what does it say in the text? Call us with the code. Call us with the code when you place your order to receive your buy one get one free vegetable biryani. Awesome, awesome. And what I would do also, and and you could test it. You could for sure test it. But I think I don't even think you need to test it. I think I don't think it would hurt anything because it's on the thank you page. So it's not like it's going to hurt conversions at all. But on that thank you page, I would put a countdown clock right there. Yeah. Yeah, you know? you're right. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do that. And then this is going to be the one that'll start June 1st. We'll open the supper club of India, receive your free dessert code. So, oh, so there's that, what I was telling you about those check things. Mm-hmm. Why is that on this one? And it's not on the other. I didn't even notice that. Well, you have that um, in the form. You so if you just go to the go to my forms to the left. Really? Because it's your, the um, same form, I thought, but maybe it's there's something different. Let me look at the form. I didn't even notice that this time. Yeah, so hit um hit save and next. I think it's in the um welcome automations. Um Hit the next one. Click on change right here. Let's, I don't, I thought it would be, oh, we, um, okay, go back, go back to form, go to the first one, form fields. It would be, it would be here in the form. Change this. Um, hmm. And what is that, the, um, the comply to freaking, you got to check the box. Yeah, to get notified about more. That's interesting that it's, I wonder so why. I don't know if, to, if this matters, but the pixel is on this website, but it's not on the other website because I haven't yet gotten access. No, that's to fine. It. You know where it would be, a, that it's box, I think it, it, open up the page. Let's go look at the page real quick. Yeah, if it's not in the form, it has to be right here on the page. Um, okay, so yeah, so you got to get rid of that that box below. So That's click on, click on um on um columns at the top. Down, no, to the left, right there, columns, and then just hover over that uh, box below. And just delete, not the not the pink, delete the blue. Okay, so you should be good now. And but what you do need on this though, when on every landing page, especially well, oh specifically if you're running Facebook ads, which obviously you you are, you need to put the privacy policy and the terms of use at the bottom. Okay. So that's what's missing here. So the only problem is they don't have a privacy policy on their website. You can easily create one. Go to any go to any restaurant. That's what I would do. That's what I do do. Is I'll go to any I'll go to their competitors' website, and I'll click on privacy policy and terms of use at the bottom, and then I'll copy the whole entire thing, and then I'll create a new Kartra page, and I'll paste it in the Kartra page, and I'll just simply take out the company name and replace it with their name, because every policy, every privacy policy and terms of conditions is all the same shit. Okay, I just it just clicked what you're saying. So I don't need to put it on their website. I just need to put it on a Kartra page and then have yeah. a link to that Kartra page. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. And in in the pages, it's it's you oh, can yeah. just No, you gotta just um did you hit publish live? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Open it up, get get code or link. Just open it up in a new tab. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Weird. So, okay. um, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, but the privacy policy on a Kartra page. So click on the green button. 
and then go to legal. And you could just use this template right here. Oh, okay. So um, pull up any restaurant in that area and, and then okay. just grab their privacy policy. Okay. Copy the whole entire thing and then just uh, paste it into to that right there. All right. And categorize everything, you know, so these specific pages for the restaurant, start putting everything in categories. Yeah, they are. I'm pretty are sure they? they are. That legal, those legal pages will go in that category. I even started yeah. using the sites thing. So that, then you can just bring up just anything associated with them. Well, you can in the category, in the categories as well. But yeah, um, okay. I don't ever use that site. I, that kind of, I don't, I don't even get that part. I like, think it's just a way to group everything so that you're only looking at. Well, yeah, you can group then, it to the categories. Right, but so this is Bellagio Cafe, this is Bellagio Cafe. So I'd only be able to bring up that. Because you have two different categories. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. So the way you look at it, the way you pull up your categories is hit the three dots on any page. No, on any page, the three dots. No, no, on the, th on the page. Okay. Hit the three dots. And then go to edit and then go to manage categories that one right there up yeah and then and then this is where you can you can either delete one or you can add one yeah but um i would just put everything in in, in that one category why do you have two categories for that one business uh i don't know if i yeah. was categorizing easier for you? whatever you. here what's that Whatever is easier for you, you know? Yeah. I don't really know. Why but I just I categorize everything. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So that's good to know the privacy policy thing. Um, you know, I had a hard time. Um, the, the miles radius on the Facebook ad. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you could type in because I'm like, I can only get it go to, to go to 10 miles. That's the smallest that I can get. And then some guy sent me a video. I'm like, oh, you're entering an address. That's how you can get it to be super small. Yeah, you know you what could, I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I would be doing with this for sure. Is yeah, well, I had done just 10 because that's the smallest I could drag that little slider to. Even if I enter 10 it, or five, it would pop back up. But if you enter in a specific address, then you can do two miles within that address. Yeah. I was just doing a city. That's what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would, when, when it comes to a restaurant, I would do the miles. Yeah. Like I wouldn't do the whole city. Well, no, no, no. And I didn't, but I did like 10 miles from, because that was the smallest radius yeah. I could go yeah. in on Facebook. But once I put in the address of the restaurant, then I did so many miles from it. And mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So that was cool. Um, all and right. You can test I mean, that, I you know, test that, test, test the address, test. Everything is testing, D. I'm telling you, everything is yeah. everything is testing. Start small and then just and just keep testing different ones. Yeah. Oh, hey. So you know what we were talking about too, and I I did message when I was on with Kartra yesterday, you know that chat thing um, about changing that. You know, it says Kartra in your when you're doing your ad, it'll have like your business name and Kartra. Where in when you're doing the ad? Yeah. Where are you looking at? Uh, let's see. Oh, you're talking about the link? Like right here. Yeah, you can you could change that, right? You can no. um well, well display link right there at the top. Display link. Yeah, you got to put .com or something. Oh my god! But that don't that doesn't even matter. I mean, that's not going to make or break anything. But yeah, that's how you do it. So what would I want that to be? Her website? Yeah. Okay. Cause so that was with my question of like, when you have multiple clients in your Kartra, you don't, that's the thing. 
you don't want to you can't in fact it's a it's a against Carter's policy so right now as you're starting yeah you can you can maybe run it as as a test for 30 days and say okay i got the landing page i'm going to create this all for you and and we're going to do a 30-day run and if it works which i already know it's going to work you're going to have to set up your own landing page and your own email automation. I use Kartra for everything. So what I can do is I can set you up with a 14 day trial. I can transfer this entire campaign over to you and I'll be the one who manages it for you. But yes, it is $99 a month, but it is what it is. That's what you're going to need to capture leads. And so you have me to manage the entire thing, but you're going to need, need your own. And the okay. reason for it, it's not even a Kartra thing. It's a, it's a, it's a email can spam thing where when these emails go out, these emails are tied to you. And that's a liability on you. Yeah. Right? So this flower shop are sending out emails with your name and your address on those emails. So it's a... It's, well, a, it's, no, a, it, it's hers because I changed that in the mail mail coming from and then replying to yeah but at the very bottom at the very bottom of the email yeah it would say your name and your address okay, okay. as they go to unsubscribe yes you know what i think i just because she's like a friend of mine and i haven't run any for myself i put i think i put her information in my account that's what you're saying i think no you would have your information in your account Right. But I mean, right now it's hers so that it said her name. I see okay. what you're saying. Okay. Where do I go? To, where is that? Um, well, it would be, it would just be in the profile, like in the, in the prof. In, yeah. In the profile. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That information that's in the profile. Yes. That is what also shows at the bottom of your email. Yeah. And emails. I changed it to hers so that when those, these emails went out. Oh, that's okay. But then when you go and bring on a bring on the restaurant, those emails are showing her name. So they're not getting emails right now. They're just getting these. So is that a that's okay, right? It's not yeah, gonna happen. That, that's fine for now. That's okay. fine okay. for now. Ugh, but but right. also to justify your service, that email automation is so important. Because yeah. some people are gonna come here, they're gonna opt in. Not everyone's gonna call. So we need to be able to follow up with those people via email to yeah. create urgency to get them to call. Okay. So how about, so right now it's fine. It's just the two pages. So like you're saying in a month we'll have these. And then that's when I'll say, Hey, I've been doing this through Kartra. You'll have to get your own Kartra account. If you want to be able to email people, we've been collecting all of these emails. Now, if you want to keep following up, then you have to do your own Kartra. Not, not if you want to email because we need to email. Right. And I'm, I'm the one that's going to be emailing them for you, but you just need to pay for the software. And, 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 and when it comes to marketing and where we're at right now, Mr. Business Owner, these are your only two expenses is, is, is this Karcher account and me. Yeah. That's it, man. That's it. There's nothing else you need to be doing. Like nothing else. I'm telling you, if you really crack the code on this D, you can literally bring in a business so much freaking business yeah. that they can't even handle it. Like that's how crazy this really, this really can be. Yeah. You know, um, where they wouldn't need to spend money on the newspaper or these magazines or the freaking penny saver or whatever the hell random ass shit that they're spending money on offline. Penny saver. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, you know, it's hard like this new client. Well, she uses something else. I'm like, uh, and I, you know, I don't know enough about the something else to say, well, Karcher does this and that. And no, whatever it is, dude, whatever it is, it, it it's, it's a one-off service. So whether you're using a click funnel and it's just a landing page or you're using a MailChimp and it's your free email autoresponder, it's all just a one-off service. Yeah. So she doesn't have an all in one. We, what do we, we, we need, we need the landing page. We need the email automation. We need the calendar if, if they're, you know, going for appointments, but really just the email automation and the calendar mm -hmm. and, the, and the landing page, whatever they're pitching, whatever they're using, it's, it, they're using two different ones for that. Yeah. She also wants to get into um, like online um, courses for flower design and, you know, flower arranging. So I'm like, there it is there. Can do that. there it is there. Yep. Yeah. There it is there. So it's not even a Carter thing. Just let her know because of these emails, these emails that go out, 
they need yeah. to be in your name. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and it's not because they're all in my account and it's showing my name. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this was great. I got a lot of questions answered about the technical parts of that. Sounds good, man. Well, keep going. Keep going. Freaking <sighs> pour more gasoline on the fire and just keep me posted. Yeah, I will. I will. Thank you so much for yes, you're all so your help. so welcome, D. Message me if you need anything. Schedule a call if you need anything, and let's crush it. Have a great weekend. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. You okay. too, David. Talk Bye-bye. to you soon. Bye bye. Bye.